All right, so I've had a couple requests for this. So today we're doing a video on how long I can run the AC unit off of our two lithium ion batteries that are a hundred amp hours a piece. So we're gonna check this out here. We are at reads there if I can get it 99.9% .9 on the batteries so what we're gonna do is I am going to turn off all power coming into the trailer get the inverter turned on got my AC plug right here <clears throat> so we are going to plug in this is also a 2000 watt inverter so for those of you that have not seen my other videos, running a 2000 watt inverter. So it'll be just solely running off battery power and we'll see how long it takes to get down to about roughly 50%. So stay tuned, here we go. Uh, one cool thing with the Renergy setup that I have is I have their smart batteries. So I can actually plug in and I have a gauge that reads all of their information right here. So. As we sit, AC just kicked on. It's about 75 degrees out today in Michigan, and we've got the thermostat set on eco mode at 72 degrees. So it will cycle on and off. So with it on and the air conditioning running, I'm pulling about 45 amps out of the batteries. Now that's a little bit of it is the inverter just running itself but obviously most of it is from the AC unit. The cool part about this is it actually shows you how many hours you have remaining. So if it was running continuously right now, I could run this setup for 4.3 hours before the batteries would deplete down to zero. So lithium, you can go close to zero. I'd never recommend completely wiping them out. That would not be good. Uh, but they will definitely get more life out of them than a standard lead acid battery you should only run those down to about 50 percent before you can start doing damage so we'll uh, let it cycle on and off and scroll through and check out our percentages in a little bit and see how far we drop and how much time all right we're back so it's been 30 minutes and it's got cool air coming out uh, right now and we're gonna see percentage wise we are at 93.4 percent that's been 30 minutes so right now it's saying 3.9 hours remaining so obviously we're seeing when the AC pump is on along with the fan so it's pulling the most amperage out of the batteries so um, you know, we still got a lot of percentage left. 30 minutes, it's at 93% still. So I'm gonna give it an hour this time and then we'll see where it's at after an hour total. So, or after uh, an hour and a half total. So see how that is. So it's been a total of an hour and a half of the AC system cycling on and off. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but every time I've come in, it's in its AC cycle. So the pump's on and we're down to 82.2% on the battery life, 82.1. And we're pulling around 48 amps. So pretty close to what it was um, initially and we're saying 3.4 hours till the batteries go to zero percent. So I'm impressed so far. I mean, an hour and a half. Now today, it's, it's not a great test for temperature because like I said, it's about 75 out. I have the thermostat in here set to 72. Um, I will say we are directly in the sun though, so we have zero shade whatsoever. And I know that that typically will heat the inside of the trailer 
warmer than what it is outside. So, you know. All right, I'm going to go another hour and we'll see where we're at. All right, I'm back. It is now 4.51. So we are two and a half hours in running off the batteries and we're cycled on again right now. And oh, there we go. We just shut off. So this would be interesting. Two and a half hours in, we're at 70.6% total. And with, so with the fan completely off, AC completely off, it's actually reading that we have 44 hours remaining. So you can see, you know, quite a bit of a change um, in the time that it says with the AC on and off. And we got we got uh, we got Maya in here with us now. She's hanging out, trying to cool off since it's warm outside today. But yeah, two and a half hours. I'm probably gonna call it quits there. Down to 70%. So you can kind of calculate that out. Obviously, on a hotter day, I would say two and a half hours. You might be down at 50% versus 70 because it'll be cycling on and off quite a bit more. So I hope the uh, AC video was good for you guys. If if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. We could maybe discuss a little bit about solar panels being plugged in. There's a lot of calculators online that you can also use as reference. So like we had about 40 to 50 amps coming out of the batteries and you could easily calculate what you needed in with solar panels so that you could stay at 100% the whole time. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe.